You've been a side man for so long, Paul. What did you think when Vince said, "I'm going to co-bill you on this Bakersfield album"? You're going to, you know, you're going to, your name's going to be on it, you know, because yeah. that was something new for you. Well, I remember it specifically. We were playing with the Time Jumpers, and he said, "You got a second? And so after everybody left, we sat down on the little porch at, where you load out, and he pitched the idea, and and he said, "No, I want you to play." And I said, "I'll play on your record." It was like I'd never it. You know the the concept of being a co uh, uh, mate, or, or, uh, it just it wasn't in my wheelhouse. And so, but he was. He said, "No, I got this thing. I want to do it like this." And yeah, I was honored to say the least. And so, what what tell me about that Bakersfield album and where it came from and why why did why did it work? Either one of you. you know. Yeah. Well, Bakersfield is a. Uh, we both, as we got to know each other, we both started as kids playing instruments. And I'm from Detroit, he's from Oklahoma. And, but we realized very, very quickly that the music we were drawn to was that sound of that, that earliest sound of Bakersfield, uh, Buck Owens and Merle Haggard. And as musicians, I was learning how to play the steel parts. I was very drawn to it. He was drawn to the guitar thing and then also being the singer, you can you can tell him, but also he admired Don Rich probably as much as you know Buck as mm -hmm. uh, as a singer. You know all the harmonies. And Don all Rich that. being the the most prominent of the Buckaroos, although the steel playing in that band wasn't half bad. It wasn't either. bad. He, Tom was <laughs> <laughs> no slouch. That's, yeah. Is that Tom Brumley? Tom Brumley. Yeah, well, Tom. Ralph Mooney was and actually Mooney. Mm -hmm. the first steel player, and uh, he did all the uh, early stuff. You know. Um, uh, you're for me and above and beyond all that style that's Ralph Mooney okay and he was also on bottle let me down and uh, uh, swinging doors and all that Ralph Mooney was the guy and then Tom was on the outskirts and then he he did more sessions and, and incorporated uh, mm -hmm. his sound into bucks so buck hired him I don't think Mooney would go on the road <laughs> So, were you pleased with the reception to Bakersfield? I, I recall it getting rave reviews. Is it? Yeah, no, I I thought it was great, and uh, still I still play with the Time Jumpers, and this one moved into another band. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, and every Monday night, someone inevitably will come up and talk about, "Hey, do you guys ever do this song from Bakersfield?" Or, you know, it's still. Uh, it, it's you you hit it when people want to hear this music again and and you know if we're the bridge into that you know so be it but but um that's why it's important i think you know it, it's the songs live forever i think the people all you have to do is open the door for them yeah. exactly people right. will respond to good music if you give it to them and you have a platform you know you you have a following you have a constituency and you can say have you have you looked at this? You know, what do you think? You know, if you like this, I think you'll like this. Yeah. You know, take yeah. them along. You know, this is this is what I love. These are some of the things that that I'm crazy about. Mm -hmm. You know, once again, it's it's uh, we've both been given a gift, and we'd be foolish to not share it. Totally agree.